Hey, holy shit, Dark Horse Presents. Good lord, am I branching out from all my Marvel and Image bullshit? Well, yeah, I try to show different things, but as I've had to kind of... I had a, I've had a couple people recently, one of my best friends and uh, one of my uh, buddies that I've kind of met through my YouTube channel here, have both hit me up and be like, you should look at works by this guy or this guy or this guy. And I'm like, I would, but I can only really show currently what I have what I've bought over the years, and I liked what I liked, and, you know, I've branched out and picked up a few different things here and there, but, um, I, I mean, I can't review things I don't have, and honestly, I do not have any interest, I've talked about this, of showing you work on an iPad. I have once to show some guy's artwork, to show you the work that was in the current comic that was terrible, but to show you what he currently did, I believe it was Ed Bain, Banis? Ed, I don't know how you say his last name. But he did an issue of something or other for Liefeld. And so I showed some of his work on this. But I don't like that. I don't... I'm, I'm old school. I like to physically have a book. I want something to be able to show. And so I can only show work that I have. Um, I've been very lucky where one of my viewers sent me the whole pile of uh, Captain America books. And uh, I'm going to review the last two of those here real soon. And I uh, might be getting some more books uh, from the same fella, he uh, threw out the option of sending a couple of books my way of something he'd like to see me review, which I'm humbled at. Like, who the hell would have ever thought that I'd have people wanting to send me shit so I could review it? But like I said, the point being, I can only show you what I've got. And on occasion, I pick up a weird random thing. I picked up this solely on the Predator concept. So this was printed, and I believe it says 89, yes, Man, did I love the shit out of the original Schwarzenegger Predator and the second one. Those are so good. I love those, and I love the Predator as an alien creature. And I just had to pick up a book to see what it was like. Um, unfortunately for me, most a lot of times like this, when I love something in a cinematic sense, the comics just never are as interesting because you just can't capture the same visual interest as a movie. And so... Sometimes it's just not the same, but I gave it a shot. What's interesting to me, Dark Horse Presents, I didn't know who or what they were. I just, I'd heard of them. But this is a 1989 book. It's black and white, and it cost $1.95. That is some expensive fucking shit. I mean, at this time, like, Marvel was putting out books for, like, a buck twenty-five or a buck, I think, something like that. But smaller company, smaller audience, you know, they're... Not as much money as Marvel to throw around, I'm guessing, is part of the whole reason. You got to make the books at a price where you can recoup some profit to keep making them. But two bucks for a black and white book at 89, it seems like a lot, but I, I get it. But I was all about the Predator, and there's this first several page story. Um, script by Randy Stradley, no idea. Pencils by Phil Norwood, no idea. But he's pretty good. I know Carl's story as an inker. Um, and once I saw that, I could kind of see he's got a very slick, clean line that's just, you got a really solid control and it looks really good. Um, the story's kind of odd to explain in that, like, we don't have, we can't ever hear the predators think or talk because they never showed them doing that. So all this text is like a conversation between some humans, but the conversation they're having is sort of relevant and speaking to what this predator itself is going through. So here you got, they're on a ship going through hyperdrive or whatever the fuck. And he's like testing out his gear, his bladed weapon. Then you got like this room where he's got all his gears and shits and like cool technological backgrounds. Um, I It wasn't until I flipped this open and reminded myself, this sword that you see right up here, which then he... He pulls out two of these two swords and then he connects them at the ends of their handles and makes like a like a double bladed spear weapon. But this pattern, I completely stole this exact pattern and put it onto my own character that he had two swords he carried on his back. And it was that design. Like, let me bring it up closer to the camera. I just thought that sword looked so fucking cool. Like the one under it's a little weirder, but I like this bladed weapon with all those hooks in. It looks like something like... The Klingons would have in Star Trek. I love that shit. So it was just funny. I'm like, oh my God, because I know that design very clearly, but I forgot that I stole it from this thing on a really terrible character design. I should actually do up what, you know, what's funny is I think like most people that 
create comic or like comics and characters and can draw. We all create our own characters. And sometimes the shit you create when you're like 10, 11, 12, and you think they're the coolest things you've ever seen, and they're just so stupid, like revisiting them older is really fun. I should actually do that. I should dig out some of my old character designs and do like a modern drawing of them. Anyway, I'm just trailing off here. Predator's checking out his weapons. This These drawings are pretty damn good. Um, another Predator comes along. Basically, he's like, come on, there's something going on. They're all charging down the hallway. I think there's like a who's the toughest predator contest going on. And so our hero, and you can tell it's him because he's got a little broken tooth, like his little mandibles. One of them's broken off. So that's how you're supposed to be able to tell that's him. It's not this guy. Or is it? Jesus Christ. It might be. I'm sorry. It's a broken tooth. So yeah, that is him. It's like they kick him in there like, hey, you got to go fight this other guy and see who's the strongest, who's the toughest, who's the coolest there's the big battle going on and one of them's losing man i just love these drawings i love this like aliens predator homage there that double-bladed weapon and the alien head on a spike that looks so cool anyway this tough a, a predator with the little skull dick dangly he's the tough one so oh yeah he's got his hair his little dreads kind of pulled up into like a little dread man bun that's funny. And so he's reaching for the, the metal thing to show like he's the toughest. But our little regular guy that was at the beginning of the book, he's like stopping him. Like, no, no, I challenge you, Mr. Skull Dick Dingley, with your dread man bun. Which he does, like for real. He's a short guy. So they face off. They're head butting. They're going at each other. Uh, Dick Dingley roars at him. But... Uh, our guy, our, our little short, little innocuous predator is a little bit smarter, a little bit better fighter. Knee to the guts, hand, double axe chop to the back, knocks the guy to the ground. He gets up, charging punch, and he gets under there and punches him in his little dick dangly. Actually just lifts him up, holds him up for everyone to see, tosses him out of the ring. It's like a wrestling match. And he walks over and he picks up the metal and he's King Predator. So they're going to throw him all the predator bitches, which we've never seen, right? Um, then he gets to get geared up, and he hops on a ship, and he gets to go fly off. And I don't know, maybe he gets to go fight, Schwarzen fight Schwarzenegger or Danny Glover or something. That'd be awesome. So, and that's just the first short story of the Predators. Really well drawn. Great inks. You know, looks like the characters are supposed to. I wonder if they had some model sheets or this guy just kind of just knew how to draw the Predators. Like, how do you learn how to draw these things when you don't have like a... You know, just a phone to Google search anything like you want. Um, some letters, pages, and then the, the subsequent stories I was never into. Um, looking at them with a more critical, like, grown-up eye. They're, they're, they're interesting artistically. Again, I don't recognize any of these people. Paul G Gein Guinan? What? Guinan. Like Star Trek? Never even heard that name outside of that show. Anyway. Some soldier story. I don't know what's going on. I never read it because I didn't care. But, it, you know, it's, pre it's pretty well drawn. Like, the guy obviously knows what he's doing. It's just not a style that excites me too much. It's better than me, so what the fuck do I know? Um, and then this one. This story. A Tough Nut to Crack, Sam Inabin... Jeez, I don't even know how to say that. This had a little bit more interesting, like... Um, I, I, I feel like I've seen a lot of artwork like this in like indie black and white comic books that I am not any kind of an expert on, but I've seen a, a couple to kind of get a vague idea. Um, pretty interesting drawings going on here. Very detailed, cross a lot of values. Really interesting. I am 100% certain I never, ever read that story. I just wanted to read the Predator stuff. I don't know what's going on here. But again, all pretty good drawings. Somebody's taking their time to do some textures and cross-hatching and line works and values. Wow, kind of looks like Captain Nemo from the Alan Moore League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Anyway... 
pretty well drawn. I like this night shot. I like the city in the background with the moon behind the clouds. That's really good. Really cool. I always remember this weird robot face thing. This weird flat slats and I don't know what that is. Anyway, yeah, not much to it, you know. I didn't know much about Dark Horse Presents. I just wanted the Predators. Um, I love those creatures, and it's a goddamn shame they haven't done anything good with them since Predator 2. Um, I'll be honest, I kind of liked Aliens vs. Predator, the first one. It's, it's not as bad as everyone thinks. It's not great, but, it, you know, it's not shocking cinema, but... As far as a couple big monster creatures fighting, that was pretty badass. I really liked it. And then Aliens vs. Predator 2, I just, I hated every human character. I wanted them to all to get slaughtered. Just all needed, they all needed to die, which kind of happened, so that was cool. Um, what was that, that Predators with AD, Adrian, Adrian Brody? Um, and Eric Foreman that was in that show playing a psychopathic murderer. That was okay. I remember the samurai fighting the like the ninja predator himself. That was kind of a cool part. Um, God, what else is there? Oh, yeah. That Shane Black, the predator. Is that what that was? I never saw it. It looked so goddamn horrible and the reviews were just atrocious. But I got to say that predator prey with the uh, set in old, you know, centuries ago with the Native American girl. That was pretty good. Could have been rated R, could have been a little better, but that was pretty damn good. Anyway, I'm just going on. I love the Predator creatures. I uh, I wish they'd do something interesting with them again. So, I guess that's all I've got. So, thank you, and I will see you next time.